Hi, this is Max with A1 Website Pro, and this is a continuation of the, uh, uh, the previous tutorial, you know, describing what Amazon Web Services is and stuff like that. So in this particular tutorial, we're going to be setting up an instance and an elastic IP. So this is going to be important to you to getting started. So if you're logged into your Amazon Web Services dashboard, you want to click this EC2, Elastic Console 2, okay? And it's going to show up. And what you want to do is right here where it says launch instance, you could click here. But uh, for my students, I'd like you to get used to working with these tabs over here. So let's just go to instances. All right. Now we're going to click launch an instance. Okay. Now, right down here, I like Ubuntu. So I'm going to use it to Linux server. And uh, I can do things faster on it. So I click select. Now notice this free tier eligible. Okay. We're good for up to 750 hours for the four first 12 months for free, okay, for these micro instances. So you want to keep that in mind. And then what we're going to do is click uh, um, uh, Configure Instance Details, all right? So we have, you know, number of instances, network, so on and so forth. Uh, there's your subnet. You can leave everything here to default. So we're going to go back here, and we're going to just click Review and Launch. All right. Now, because we want to get started right away. So now notice it gives us, it prompts us for the security instance wizard. Okay. Now, that's for this down here. 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0. Anybody can SSH into your server. By SSH, SSH, I mean terminal. Okay. So... Not that this is going to be a big deal because of the fact that you have to have a key value pair, which we're going to go over in order to, uh, you know, go to the server. But you're going to need some other stuff, too. So I want you to go up here, click Edit Security Groups, all right? So we have the SSH, TCP, IP. Now, you could leave this to zero, but I mainly work from one central location and, uh, you know, so... I, I could just select my IP, notice it automatically puts it in there for me, okay? And then I can add another rule, because I want people to be, a, I want to be able to access it from the internet, so it's an HTTP rule, okay? And then we'll leave anywhere in there. The next one is HTTPS, I would want to keep that in there, so if I ever have an SSL, you know, anybody could access it anywhere. And since uh, we're going to be using PHP and MySQL database, we want to scroll down here where it says MySQL Aurora. Have that. And uh, one of the things that's going to give you a warning here, uh, you know, you could leave it to a custom IP or anywhere, but you'll see that, you know, rules, you know, they, they, they get a little bit funky about that. So... We're just, we'll just go ahead and set that to my IP, all right? Um, let's see here. Is there anything else that we're going to need at this particular point in time? Not at this particular point in time because we want to get up and get rolling. So we can install PHP, MySQL, and all that other stuff. Okay, so this is where we're creating a new security group. Or like if you had a, an existing security group, uh, you would click that here. So once you once you set this up, in fact, I I I made a security group called Test. You know that I could I could just use it. It has all everything that I need: HTTP, SSH, you know, my SQL, HTTPS, and I could just choose that. So if as I continue to make new instances, it's just easier for me. Okay, so I'll click Review and Launch, and you see I get my Ubuntu server fourteen point oh four. Click launch. Now, right here is where I really want you to pay attention. Okay, so I've already have a key pair called Maximus, but I'm going to generate a new key pair. Okay, just so that you know what what it is. So I'm going to call it Maximus MCC. Okay, and then this is the only time that you are going to have to download and save this file to a safe space. Okay, your safe space. And uh, so we'll download the key pair. Okay, notice it's Maximus MCC. Okay, now the best place to put this is in your home folder. But we're going to put it in a downloads folder right now because it's going to be kind of like, uh, I believe it might be a zip file. No, it's not a zip file. 
All right, so now I have that downloaded and saved to my computer. And I know exactly where it's at. It's my downloads folder. Do not lose this file, okay? So we'll go ahead and click Launch Instance. Okay, and then you'll get this notice. Your instance is now launching. So, and then you can click View Instances, and you can see that it is pending. So, and then we'll go through the whole setup process. This is another instance that I had made earlier, just messing around with it. And so <clears throat> that's something that you can do. You can create new instances, you know, screw around with it and then test it out, you know, make sure it's for you or whatnot. Okay, now let me direct your attention over here to Elastic IPs. All right. Now if you don't have one, you you want to get one. Okay, just click allocate new new address. And then I'm not going to go through it, but you, you just say yes, allocate. Okay, and then you're going to have these IP addresses right here. Okay, we're going to take this elastic IP address. All right, and what we want to do is we want to associate it with one of our instances. Okay, so if I go like this, this is the instance that we just created is running now. Okay, now this is going to make it easier for us to mess around on a server. All right, so I'm just going to click associate. Now, to make sure that this particular uh, IP address is associated, this Elastic IP address right here, okay, we want to make sure this dot six is associated with an instance. So let's go to instance, okay, the one that's running. If you look down here, this Elastic IP, okay, that's, that's what we're going to use to connect. Now, <clears throat> there's a few things that Amazon give you here to make it a little bit easier, so it's since, since it's so cumbersome sometimes. So you, you click on the instance that you want to connect to. And up here, go to Actions and then Connect. And right here, they will give you an example of how you're, you're going to connect via SSH. So you could right-click and copy and then just close that. But we're going to be connecting with the Elastic IP address that we had set up. And I'm going to show you uh, how to do that in the next tutorial. But you... This is what you want to do. Click on there, you know, connect, and then you'll get your connection stuff. Now, for those of you that are running Windows, you want to connect using PuTTY. Uh, Mac, you already have a terminal, so you're good to go. Uh, now, this PuTTY with Windows 10, as of this date, is still not uh, working properly. So, I don't know if those guys fixed it yet or not, but uh, that's what you have to use. Otherwise, uh, you'll have to install a Linux program like I'd have. Okay, this is Max with A1 Website Pro. I will be getting the other tutorial up here shortly. This particular one had to deal with instances and elastic IPs and associating them together.